My name is Jeff Davis. I'm the Director of International Education for the Greater Victoria School District. I've been with the International Education Department for uh, 13 years. Prior to being in the Victoria School District, I was a PE and Social Studies teacher. Uh, I also worked in Japan for five years where I was working at a university and also at a high school. Talking a bit more about the location of Victoria, in Victoria we get about 50% less rain than the city of Vancouver. Uh, Vancouver of course is a beautiful city as well and like Vancouver we have beautiful mountains, we're very close to the ocean. From the middle of the city to the ocean is 15 minutes max by car. We have four seasons but all seasons are warm. We don't have any snow, perhaps maybe once a year, but it melts quickly. Another thing I notice about Victoria is people are always exercising because the weather is nice. We tend to get a lot of students who are very interested in recreational opportunities. We would be one of the larger school districts in the province of BC. We have 20,000 students in our school district from kindergarten to grade 12. The international program International Education Department within the school district is one of the oldest in Canada. We have students from over 30 countries in the school district and we invite new students and welcome new students every year. Well, I really think there's three areas that are lending to our success. Our history, again we're one of the first international student programs in the province of BC. We've started in 1992. It doesn't sound like a long time ago um, in terms of history, but it's a long time for an international education program. Also, our support team. We have one of the largest support teams um, in Canada, where we have a large home state department that's in-house with eight members. We have a, a strong admissions team, a strong management team, and a great accounting department. So our support, for students, for partners, for schools is, in my opinion, the best in Canada. And then finally, uh, one area where we're very fortunate is our location. Our location in the capital city of BC, Victoria. Our population is 370,000, so a fairly large city in, from a Canadian perspective, but not too large. So a comfortable place for um, high school students or middle school students or even elementary school age students to come and learn alongside Canadian peers. Well, the early days of the international program in Victoria, we had uh, very few students. Some of our first students coming to Canada were coming from Japan and also from Hong Kong. They always left such a positive impression at the schools they attended. The educators and, and um, support staff within Victoria always hoped that we'd have more international students. And slowly, other countries began to have an interest in, in having students coming to BC and also to Victoria. So we grew very slowly, and at the same time as we grew, we put systems in place to support students. So when students were having good experiences in Victoria, by word of mouth, more students came to Victoria. Every year we find a new country where a student may enter the Victoria School District from. Recently we've been having a lot of students come from Italy, Vietnam and Spain, which is new for us. And we're developing new methods to support students because students coming from each country, they come from a different education system, different culture, and, and, and we lo always look ways to make them feel welcome and comfortable in Victoria, in their new schools and new homestay families. I mean, I have so many memorable moments. That's, that's a tough one. Probably my first day on the job where a group of students from um, Yokohama, Japan came and I went on all the activities with them and rode the bus and, and got to do the activities myself. That was great. I also think about memorable moments every time new students arrive for our new student orientation which is in September and February and I get a chance to speak with them and connect with parents and connect with partners that's always very memorable one of the thing that, things that has been most impactful for me is meeting students 
after they complete their program. So often we do alumni events or uh, where we bring students together, you know, sometimes a year after they've graduated, sometimes two or three, and they're working and, and moving on with their lives. And I find meeting these students, it's very inspiring because they're so interesting. They have two perspectives, they're bicultural, they've learned about life in Canada, and obviously they, they were well aware of life at home, but they're very well-rounded and very interesting, globalized people. So I, I find that, for me, those three areas, probably the, you know, my, my best memories. Not one, but many memories.